yeah my my walking day isn't really turned out to be much of a walking day i'm taking a, a another rickshaw to newmarket from laubag port um i've got another driver he's working bloody hard with a fat western on the back um so yeah, yeah. And, but we're going through like the old old duck so the roads are really narrow there's no pavement um i can't see any road signs not that i could make them out anyway because they're all in bangla so yeah just just like these really narrow roads vehicles going all over the place people walking on the road We've got shops out on the road um very very narrow i'm surprised you know there's not there's not accidents every couple of minutes but i guess this is old Dhaka where things are narrow and not like the modern Dhaka that you've seen with wide avenues wide you know dual carriageways on both sides um yeah so i'll see where we get to when we get to i'll see what we get to when we get to new market just, just thought i'd have to film this because this is a rickshaw jam here there's like rickshaws all over the place you can see there's a police ambulance or something coming behind us and then anyway real proper traffic jam I'm just bracing myself because something's going to hit me. I've got a feeling. Well, there's police here actually. Looks like there's something going on. Lots of traffic. Hopefully, going against the traffic. Um, I put the camera on too late, but just past lots of little gold shops. You see lots of little gold shops there. They were just um, little, tiny little shops selling lots of gold. Um, don't know what part of that, that is, but it must be like the gold kind of area. But there's another one here, but that looks quite empty. But let's see, there's lots of people selling gold. I imagine they sort of make it here as well, rather than importing it. Um, I guess that's cheaper, making it here where labour is cheap. So now we've sort of come out of the narrow roads and come into something quite wide. Got no idea where we are, but I'm sure we'll get to Duck and Blue Market soon. So Institute of Social Welfare and Research, University of Dhaka. There's lots of University of Dhaka buildings all over the place. Um, Hello everyone, this is my um, rickshaw driver. SN Roman. SN Roman. So he's just driven me from Laubag Fort to Dhaka New Market. Okay. He's done a good, good job. Really narrow roads and lots of traffic. Supermarket, uh, a new market, and um, before I go in the market, this is the traffic. You can see it's a total standstill, nothing is moving, it is all fudge. Everyone just sat there, a lot of beeping, but everyone's reasonably calm. I'm in the new Dhaka New Supermarket, it's actually a maze. Um, don't know really know where I'm going. Some guys sort of giving me some kind of directions. He said, Look for the same gate this way so that's what i'm doing don't know if i can find it we'll have to wait and see but it's just a maze just one one maze after another so i don't know how, how people can live here it just drive me mad I wouldn't be able to go out and get anything but hey oh, we'll see i've come to new like a new supermarket and this one is f1 and there's also one this one here two shops down Niha Fashion, they're both owned by Sofian Bai and he's a really nice guy, he did me a great deal on um, some Punjabi so if you want to come and buy some in Dhaka, in Dhaka New South Supermarket, that's Sofian Bai so come and check him out and he'll do you a deal, okay? I finished shopping in Dhaka New Supermarket, my god it is, that is an experience in itself, it's really hustly and bustly um, 
people sort of firing questions at you a hundred million times, sort of get bamboozled by it. But I bought myself five Punjabis. I don't really know where I'm going to where I'm going to wear them, but I've got a good deal with the guy that um, I've been in contact. Sofian um, at Niha Fashion and F1 Fashion first floor new supermarket. Um, and also I bought my cousin's children some clothes. I've got no idea if they're gonna fit because I've never met them. I've not even seen my cousin for 35 years. But I know he's got two boys and a girl, so a boy of six and a boy of three and a newborn girl. So I bought all that stuff. Um, I think it cost me about so that was two tops for the boys and two shorts plus a dress for the girl. So that's um, five items and I think it cost me eight hundred taka, which I think really is quite good. Um, all new, um, all cotton, so you know you, you can't say no to that. But um, we kept on trying to ups upsell. Said, oh, what about this? What about this? I think people are going to try and get me to buy the whole shop. But I'm just having a quick sit down, have a drink, and then I'm going to get the well, going to get a um, rickshaw back to my hotel because it is really hot and stifling. I hope the traffic died down a bit because I want to go and cool down in the swimming pool. So um, let's see how that goes. See ya. seem to get stressed about it there's a lot of hooting and tooting and maybe slightly raised words but I don't think there's any swearing or cursing people just tell each other to get out of the way and stuff like that and they just deal with it so yeah just want to get back and cool down I think I'm so sticky it's unbelievable see ya um, there's, a, there's a policeman trying to organize the traffic but um, don't really know if it's doing much because I've got police sort of vans everywhere. I just can't, can't, can't get over the amount of rituals there. Are. There are so many on the corners. Um, I, I'm, I'm surprised they get any kind of business, but they, but they must be because there's obviously rituals about. So everybody must be making some kind of a living. I can't imagine it being a great living, but I guess they get enough money to do it. Otherwise, why would you do it? But I guess some, sometimes people probably don't even have a choice. They have to do something to get some money, even if it's sort of like it, it, it doesn't seem to make sense to us as Westerners or anything like that. But hey, people have got to eat, man. People have got to eat. See, I'm just driving past that. I don't really know what that is, but it looks like some kind of memorial. It's either that or it's time to do Dhaka University and their campus or something but I did see, I did see a sign for Dhaka University on it but it might have been paid for by Dhaka University who knows um, but obviously um, the liberation war of 71 is close to everybody at his heart but it doesn't matter whether they live in Bangladesh or not whether they were born then before then or well after um, it's a struggle that we, that we still have today where people are trying to um, get over the oppressors, the occupiers, the colonial, the colonialists um, they just want to be able to govern their own selves, fight for their own freedom and just like every other human being just raise their children and try and give them a better life. Enough about the party politics so I'm just going to probably not probably do much filming. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to see on this route. Um, traffic's quieting down a bit. Yeah, these poor rickshaw guys 
work their bloody socks off for peanuts. So um, yeah, just just got to try and use them to make sure they're getting money. So see ya. Oh, I'm just pass, passing a good good water. So that's a Sikh temple. Um, I think I remember seeing a video about that once. Um, I think um, Sikh sort of priests from India come and sort of are sort of stationed there for a couple of years at a time. And there, there is a Sikh community of Bangladesh. Um, so um, obviously you've got Hindus, you've got Sikhs. Obviously the thing's 98% Muslim. Um, I've, I've not seen any kind of Christian churches. But I assume there would be Christians based on the fact that um, it was part of the, um, the British Empire and I'm sure Christianity would, would have been brought at least by the British if it hadn't been brought by other people beforehand um, so I know there's churches in India um, but I've not seen a church here so just have to see in my travels if I do See ya. Big old roundabout which had a massive monument. I don't know if you can see it in the back. But um, just coming slightly, well, we're, we're running parallel with the um, metro. So there's the metro up there. At the moment, they've only got one metro line, but I believe they're building other metro lines, including tunnels. Um, I'm a bit, I'm not, I'm not sure about the tunnel car because obviously. Bangladesh gets a lot of rainfall, it gets flooded very very often, if not every year, especially with the dams in India and China when they have, when they have to release the water because they've got too much water, it obviously floods um, the, the Ganges and the Brahmaputra, which I believe they meet in Bangladesh and it then is named the River Rana. Um, so obviously that's a much bigger, not, much heavier water flow than it would be it was just uh, the river um, so I'm just not sure if a tunnel metro is a great idea but I'm sure they factor that in in terms of um, flooding and how they can get rid of excess water um, but I'm hoping to get on the metro tomorrow um, I'm gonna go out of Dhaka to see the National Mart Martyrs Monument um, I really want to see that I think that's something that we have to see to appreciate um, what people had to go through to, to, um, to fight for their freedom and I can't even appreciate it even though you know people lost their lives you don't know the context of how people tried to survive how people gave their lives you know how children um, saw their parents murdered and how they survived and what kind of trauma that left them but I really want to go and see the memorial and then from that um, I want to then take the metro down to sort of um, to the main mosque in Dhaka. I can't remember the name now, but it's by the na national stadium. Um, so yeah, see what happens tomorrow. Cheers, bye. Past, um, just going on this road here, and it looks like this is like a garden road. Look at that. Look at the palms and the tropical plants here on both sides of the road for sale. Loads of plants. Look at that. Look at the dahlias over there. Roses. Huge palms, bamboos. My kind of plants. <laughs>